In this two-part episode of Arizona Treks, we are traveling to Tucson, Arizona to hike two of the most scenic trails in the area and camp at a convenient campground that is close to both trails. We'll take you along on our journey as we hike the Brown Mountain Trail Loop on the first day of our trip and then camp at Gilbert Ray Campground. On day two of our trip, we'll drive a few short miles to the King Canyon Trailhead to hike to the top of Wasson Peak, the highest point in the Tucson Mountains and Saguaro National Park West. We specifically chose these trails and campground for their proximity to each other, allowing us to easily explore both areas. Brown Mountain is situated in Tucson Mountain Park, while Wasson Peak is located in Saguaro National Park West. The Brown Mountain and King Canyon trailheads are just two and a half miles apart, and the entrance to Gilbert Ray Campground is conveniently across the road from the Brown Mountain Trailhead. This area is about 114 miles from Central Phoenix down Interstate 10 and takes about two hours to drive. Our first hike on this trip is Brown Mountain Trail. It can be accessed from a few other trailheads. However, we chose to start our hike at the Brown Mountain Trailhead since it was the closest to our campground. This trail loop is about 4.8 miles long, with an elevation gain of about 686 feet, reaching a total elevation at Brown Mountain's summit of about 3,080 feet. Parking is limited at this trailhead, however. If you plan on camping at Gilbert Ray Campground, you could park at your campsite and walk to the trailhead. The trails in Tucson Mountain Park are open from dawn until dusk, but please note that dogs are not allowed on the trails. Unfortunately, there are no restrooms or water available at the Brown Mountain Trailhead. The initial stretch of the Brown Mountain Trail offers an easy hike, characterized by mostly smooth terrain with minimal elevation gain. Within a short distance, hikers find themselves surrounded by desert flora, including chola, prickly pear, and towering saguaro cacti. You have the option to hike the trail in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. We chose to start clockwise tackling the more challenging sections with steep elevation gains first. Then, we enjoyed the second half of the trail, which is easier and relatively flat, at lower elevations. During our hike in early spring at the end of March, the desert landscape was alive with blooming wildflowers, painting the mountains, canyons, and valleys with vibrant yellow, purple, and white hues. Hikers navigate a challenging series of rocky switchbacks, 
facing steep inclines before reaching the first smaller peak of the mountain range at approximately 3,000 feet above sea level. This vantage point offers a perfect opportunity to rest and take in the breathtaking scenery to the south, with Golden Gate Mountain and Bren Mountain standing tall against the desert backdrop of Tucson Mountain Park. This loop trail is popular among hikers, trail runners, and mountain bikers alike, offering a multi-use experience for outdoor enthusiasts. Continuing along the ridge line, the trail winds its way through a variety of cacti and rock gardens, descending slightly before ascending once more to the summit of Brown Mountain, reaching approximately 3,080 feet in elevation. From the mountain's peak, hikers are rewarded with spectacular panoramic views. To the north, Saguaro National Park West, the Red Hills, and Wasson Peak are visible. To the east and northeast, Bushmaster Peak, Tower Peak, and Mount Lemon dominate the horizon. Looking south, Tucson Mountain Park unfolds, with Golden Gate Mountain and Bren Mountain prominently displayed. To the west, the Desert Valley stretches out, with Recortado Mountain and Roskrug Mountain visible on the distant horizon. Moving forward, the trail loop then gradually descends along the ridgeline, offering an easy hike before ascending once more to an elevation of approximately 3,000 feet, skirting the east side of the final peak. Around two and a half miles into the hike, the trail changes direction, looping back south toward the trailhead where the journey began. As the trail descends into the valley, it becomes less rocky and easier to navigate. Hikers will encounter several intersections along the way, where paths from other trailheads intersect with the Brown Mountain Trail Loop. The first connection trail you'll pass is the access trail from the Juan Santa Cruz picnic area. Keep hiking east, following the signs for the Brown Mountain Trailhead. As you progress along the trail, you'll be surrounded by hundreds of towering saguaro cacti, with the path winding along a deep, rocky wash. Eventually, the Ringtail Trail and the Brown Mountain Picnic Area Trail connect with the main Brown Mountain Trail Loop.
completing the loop, you'll return to where the trail initially separated and diverged, following a single trail back to the trailhead. Our hike on the Brown Mountain Trail Loop covered a distance of 4.8 miles with an elevation gain of 686 feet, reaching an elevation of about 3,080 feet at the summit. It took us about two hours to complete our hike. After a day of hiking the Brown Mountain Trail, it's time to relax and enjoy a night under the stars in the Southern Arizona desert. We stayed at the Gilbert Ray Campground, located directly across the road from the Brown Mountain Trailhead. Registrations can be made online up to 72 hours before your stay. Just check in at the park office when you arrive, before heading to your campsite. The campground has 130 RV sites, primarily accommodating RV campers. However, there are also five tent-only sites in the park. Tent campers are also allowed to reserve RV sites. However, they must pay the RV rate rather than the tent-only rate. The campground is very reasonably priced. Tent-only sites cost $10 per night, plus registration fees, which are about $3, and RV sites are $20 per night. A few of the park amenities and rules to consider when planning your stay. Wood fires are prohibited. Charcoal fires are allowed, but must be contained to the grills provided. Shared water spigots are available throughout the park, as well as restrooms. Showers are not available. Electric hookups are available at RV sites. Each site comes with a table and grill. Pets are welcome. We stayed at a tent-only site, B3. This site is a short walk, less than a tenth of a mile to the nearest restroom, and is also close to one of the park's trails, the Sego Trail. In this section of the campground, Three tent-only sites are grouped together, B1 through B3, which share a common water spigot. The site offers views of some of the highest peaks in Tucson Mountain Park and also views of the vast desert valley.
The two other tent-only sites are located about a quarter of a mile further down the main road. These sites do not have a shared water source, but do have more open space around them than sites B1 through B3. After relaxing around the campsite, we took a quick evening hike on the Seago Trail to get better views of Tucson Mountain Park. The trail starts right off of the main road and is less than a tenth of a mile from Site B3. This short trail is primarily flat and stretches less than a quarter of a mile before connecting with the longer Gates Pass Trail. Here are some of the amazing views you'll see from these trails. As the sun sets on this perfect spring day of hiking in Tucson Mountain Park and enjoying the relaxing scenery surrounding Gilbert Ray Campground, we look forward to our next adventure in Saguaro National Park. Join us next time on Arizona Treks in part two of this video as we hike the King Canyon Trail to the summit of Wasson Peak, the highest point in Saguaro National Park West. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more helpful trail guides and travel ideas for exploring Arizona.